Number 69, carbon reacts with water vapor at elevated temperatures. And then they give us this equation right here with the Kc value of 0.2 at 1,000 degrees Celsius. Woo, that's crazy. <laughs> and then they say, assuming a reaction mixture initially contains only reactants, what is the concentration of CO, carbon monoxide, in an equilibrium mixture with the concentration of H2O being 0.500? molarity at the 1000 degrees Celsius. Okie dokie. So I see a equation. I'm just going to write it a little bit bigger just so that we work with it. So I have carbon solid. Ooh, okay. Carbon solid plus H2O gas. And this comes to equilibrium with carbon monoxide gas and then plus hydrogen gas, H2 gas. Let's just make this a little bit. Let's see. Make this in the middle. Perfect. Now, if we read this question again carefully, right, we notice that they said assuming a reaction mixture initially contains only reactants. Key word here is that they're talking about what happened at the start of the equation. If you see this word initially or initial or at the start or they talk about something that's happening at the beginning of this reaction, we should make an ice table. Okay, so some teachers or professors call it a rice table, but I like to call it ice, I-C-E. The R would be for the reaction, but I don't care about uh, the R, I just do ice table. Now, remember, we're talking about equilibrium, right? So we only care about the states that are allowed in the KC expression. We probably know that we're going to have to use that general expression at some point, so that's this expression uh, right here. So I'll put it down over here. Now remember, Kc is the concentration of products divided by reactants, and only aqueous and gases are allowed. So the first thing is, is I'm just going to look for these states that I have. Now they told me that I had a solid, right? So uh-oh. But then all these other ones are gases. So for the solid, since none of this is going into this formula, I can just put a big X right through this section of the ice chart. So I don't even care about the carbon. You could basically get rid of the whole thing. I like that better. Now we have three things to deal, you know, deal with or work with. Now, the I in the ice table stands for initial. That's why whenever they say something that's happening at the start, we need the ice table. Now the ice table is just something that's used just to gather your thoughts, okay? Now, they did say that we initially only contained reactants. These were the reactants, and these are the products. Now, they, they did say that, you know, we initially definitely started off with H2O, gas, but they didn't say, right? So maybe I'm just going to put a, a little box here, and we don't really know that number. They didn't tell us what we started with, but I definitely know that I had H2O at the beginning. Now, coming over to what we had in the beginning of the products, they stated that we only had reactants. So what do we have here, guys? We didn't start with any of them. So I know this number. I know that I started with nothing for CO, zero, and nothing for H2, zero. Now, let's see. Let's read forward. They're asking for the concentration of CO in an equilibrium mixture when the concentration, remember that these brackets mean concentration, the concentration of H2O is 0.5. And they're saying that it's at equilibrium. Well, the E stands for equilibrium. So it doesn't matter that I don't know what I started with. They told us that at equilibrium, H2O equals 0.5. So I'm going to not even worry about this C letter. I'm just going to jump down to the E for H2O and put 0 0.500. But now we need to find out what the concentration of CO and H2 is, right? Specifically CO, because that's what they wanted. But do we know this number? No, this is what we're searching for. So we have to basically come together to get an E value here. That's where the C comes into play. C stands for change. Basically, how much did you increase? to go from your initial to your equilibrium for CO and for H2. 
Now, remember, if you start off with zero, you can only go up from there, right? If you got nothing, you can only go up from there. You can't go down. You can't have negative molarity. So I know that I would have to increase by some number, so plus and plus, but I don't know that number. So I'm just going to label it as x. And I say that it's x for both of them because I'm looking at the coefficients. In this case, there was a 1 in front of the CO, so that's why it was technically plus 1x. And then the same thing for this one. There was no number, there was a 1, so that's why this is plus 1x. They have the same number. But let's just say that there was a 2 in front of here. I would have said plus 2x. But uh, we're back with the 1s. So let me just fill that in. So 0 plus x is just x, and x is on both sides. The equilibrium line is the only thing you care about when you're using your KC expression. All right? So once again, this is just like a little handy-dandy tool for you to organize your thoughts so that you could plug in your equilibrium values into this equation. Okay, so let's get to it. KC equals, let's write out this specific formula for us. Remember, it's products divided by reactants. So I got two products here. So I got CO, concentration of CO. Remember, it's raised to the coefficients, but since it was raised, you know, it's, there's a 1 in front of CO, uh, we, we have to raise it to the first, but, you know, we don't have to because anything raised to the first is itself. I'm going to multiply, not addition in this formula, by H2. And same thing, there's a 1 in front, so you would raise it to the first, but you don't have to show that. And then comes the reactants. Remember, this solid does not count, so I don't even care about it. I'm only going to put this reactant. So concentration of H2O, and then close that up. And now this is all at equilibrium. Well, we did say that the CO was going to be the X. The H2 was also going to be the X, right? X and X. It's always the equilibrium line. And since we know that H2O was the 0.5, I could plug that number in for here, 0 0.500, and they gave me the KC value. So I know what this is. This is 0 0.2. Okay, let's solve for X. 0 0.2 equals, let's see, I got two X's, so we'll just say X, and then times it by the other X. That's essentially x squared, right? And this is then divided by the 0 0.5. Close that up. And just for the sake of uh, space, I'm just going to put it up here. Cross multiplication, 0 0.2 times 0 0.5, I get 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 equals x times x is x squared. And then now we just want to find out what x is. We just do the square root. And by doing that, the square and the square root cancels out. So all we have to do is just the square root of 0.1. And now, if we notice, go back to the equilibrium line. x was CO, and we're solving for x. So that's what they're asking for. What's the concentration of CO? I label it as x. I'm going to find x. So this would be my answer. So this would technically be the x equals the concentration. And maybe I'll put it up here, guys. Sorry about that. This is, this is the concentration of CO. And technically, it's also the concentration of H2 as well, because they were both x. But since they only wanted to know what CO was, I don't care about the other one. And let's see. Square root of 0.1 is, let's see, uh, one sig fig, three sig figs. I see that we have one sig fig over here, so if we we're going to play the sig fig rule, I'll keep it as one sig fig, but does it really matter? No. Uh, but I'm just going to say that this is 0 0.3. And that's it. There is your answer, guys. The concentration of CO at equilibrium is 0.3, and oopsie on my part, we always need a unit, right? And this is molarity. So 0.3 molarity. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, let me know in the comments if this did. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that. Just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists and that we're, you know, giving 
free help uh, for all students all over the world. We got physics and math videos as well on the channel, so go check it out. All right, hope you're doing well, and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.